But I wanted to push myself to remember the difference that generations of women have made in my life. I stand before you today as the product of the investment of these godly women. I pray that this will be an encouragement to each of you as you seek to be godly women who make a difference in God's kingdom. So first, my grandma Fick, her name was Doris. And I never knew her, uh, but I wouldn't exist without her and her prayers. She was a Nebraska beef cattle rancher's wife, you don't get tougher than that, um, who prayed fervently for her brilliant son, my dad, that he would know God. Uh, she had five children, five children, That's, wow, yeah. And then uh, tragically got leukemia and died at the age of 43, so I never met him. My dad was 21, soon on the brink of suicide. She died and then uh, his then serious girlfriend broke up with him and uh, life was just meaningless for him. Uh, he was very desperate, but she had prayed and before he committed suicide, uh, he had a vision of Jesus dying in his place on the cross. And shortly after that, met my mom and uh, a while later, here I am. So I want to encourage you to keep praying for your children who are not yet found. Your prayers matter. There's nothing more important to pray for than their salvation. My mom's mom uh, was named Margaret, and she was a librarian. And I inherited a total love kind of borderline obsession uh, with books and organizing them from her. Uh, I was only three when she passed away, but I still remember uh, how warm she was, how much uh, she loved me. Uh, like, even now I can remember that, uh, even though I was very little. Um, but every time I interact with books, uh, which here at Gordon-Conwell, as you can imagine, is multiple times every single day. Uh, I remember her. So I want to encourage you to pass on the things that you love to the next generation. Uh, we need your skills and knowledge to face these challenging times. My mom, May Ellen, it's, it's, <laughs> uh, it's totally impossible to express what my mom means to me. Uh, it's also impossible to repay her for the ways she sacrificed so that her very allergic, nearly dead son, uh, me, could live. God shepherded us through that shadow of death, and she gave the most to see me fight through that trial and live. So I want to encourage you to keep giving sacrificially. Every time you do, you reveal Jesus Christ to all those who see it. And if no one sees it, your Heavenly Father will reward you. My eighth grade teacher was Mrs. Sanquist, English teacher. And even though I'm 35 years old, I still have to call her Mrs. Sanquist. So, <laughs> Mrs. Sanquist uh, was a wise and excellent teacher. She prayed over us often. Uh, I can still hear her praying. Uh, uh, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. She prayed that over us all the time. Uh, it's a Christian school, so <laughs> it was a little easier to do that. Um, so she challenged us, though, one day. I can still hear it in my ears. Uh, that if we wanted to live great lives that made a difference in the kingdom of God, that we should go lose ourselves in a great cause. So I want to encourage you to invest your wisdom in the next generation. We desperately need it. Pam is a pastor in Maine, and I got to know her as a speaker at a Christian retreat that my family attended regularly as I was growing up. Uh, she is kind and joyful, and she can preach amazingly. She's so amazing <laughs> as a preacher. And she made me want to marry a uh, godly woman who could speak the truth uh, in love and teach with God-given authority. That's what I wanted in a wife after hearing her preach, and uh, I found one, so <laughs> that worked out. 
Uh, because she was faithful to pursue God's call, I was encouraged in my faith as a young man. So I want to encourage you to keep pursuing God's call in your life. God still has kingdom work for you to do. Lisa was my partner in youth ministry at these Christian retreats, so I eventually became a youth leader at them. And uh, she modeled how to listen to the Holy Spirit, uh, and she just did all kinds of ministry. Like she led worship, she spoke, she, there, were, there were a lot of kinds of leadership at these retreats, and she basically did everything. And she was always pausing in her, her notes and her plans uh, to listen to the Holy Spirit. So I really learned how to listen to the Holy Spirit from her. So I want to encourage you to daily listen for guidance from the Holy Spirit. God is at work every day. Join him. <coughs> Whitney is also a friend from these Christian retreats. And uh, both Lisa and Whitney really became my sisters. I have two older brothers, uh, no sisters. and uh, But I have two sisters. Uh, Lisa and Whitney, and there were so much sisters to me that just seemed right that I had, I invited them to be groom's women. I made it up at my wedding. Uh, so I had groomsmen, and Whitney and Lisa were, were there with me too. Um, so Whitney has uh, however many stages of Lyme disease, she has the last one, mm -hmm. and she's had it for about a decade now. Um, and so her, her daily struggles uh, with health um, have been just awful and constant for a decade. And she fights and fights and is tenacious in her belief that her God is big enough. Um, even when she's not healed, she just keeps fighting. So her courage amazes me every time I interact with her. Her courage is, is blows me away. So I want to encourage you to never give up. Fight the good fight. Finish the race. Mm -hmm. Kimberly uh, stole the show at our wedding with this line. Uh, in, the, in the vows, she said, I take you as my husband. And everyone laughed. This, the whole, which I'll never forget. It's also videotaped, so it's hard to forget. But, uh, so she took me as her husband, is the way I say it, uh, on August 15, 2010. And uh, marrying her was definitely the smartest thing I've ever done. Uh, every day is better because she is in it. I've learned so much from her about prayer, about hospitality, about worship. And she also gave birth to our two sons, something I certainly could not do. Uh, she went through all of that, 33 hours of labor the first time, twice. So she's my Wonder Woman, uh, yeah, and I'm glad you see the potential in her too. She's unlike anyone I've ever met, reflecting a unique part of God's image. So I want to encourage you to be the unique, wonderfully made image bearer that God made you to be. Last, uh, and I kind of cheated on this because we're planning to do two. Uh, so I'm hoping, we're hoping to adopt two girls someday. So my future adopted daughters is the last of these nine women uh, who have influenced me. So someday if the Lord wills it, we hope to uh, adopt two girls. For some reason when I was little, uh, I just knew I wanted to get married and have kids. And then as I grew up, I thought two boys, two girls, that's perfect. Everyone's got a same gender and friend and a different gender and friend. And so it's like for socialization. So that was my theory. Uh, two boys, two girls. So we've had the two boys. So eventually we'll adopt the two girls. Um, so someday I'll learn uh, what it means to be a dad of daughters. Um, I don't know what they'll teach me or where they'll be from um, or when any of it's going to happen. But I do know that my heart for hurting children uh, is still broken from the missions work I did in 2001. Uh, so 17 years I've been longing to be a father to the fatherless. Um, I want every child to have a loving home. So I want to encourage you to keep praying uh, for the vulnerable and seek to be the hands and feet of Jesus in the hurting places in the world. So the nine women who have influenced me are Doris, Margaret, May Ellen, Mrs. Sanquist, 
<laughs> Pam, Lisa, Whitney, Kimberly, and my future daughters. Their generosity changed me. Sisters in Christ, thank you for your generosity towards me. We may never know the difference that our generosity makes, but I at least wanted you to know that I'm thankful for yours. And I will seek to honor that investment and the amazing women that have invested in me by following God with all that I am and all that I have. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Amen.